the one word I hate is hidden gem. You know, because I think it's time to stop being hidden. It's time to be known that we're a gem. It's unbelievable to see the growth and in, in, in where we've gone from day one to where we are now. We know who we are. You know, we don't think that we're that hidden gem. We're on the cusp of, of being accepted. And my whole thing during this time, this move from D2 to D1 in the past 15 years, is over and over again I've talked about I'll be happy when we're accepted, that we're not some nice little story, that their expectations are what we need to do. We've gone from, you know, a program that had never had a winning season in its history and its league to a Division II power and then into Division I and all the, you know, the anxiety of we're Division I now and now to a point where our fan base expects us to beat Michigan State. They expect us to win those games. We've gotten to the point where people are talking about us on playing the number one team in the country and believing that we can play. People are paying $40 a ticket. And you don't do that if you think it's going to be a blowout. our turn. It is our turn. We're good enough. We're talented enough. And we defend and rebound well enough. And that's what it's going to take. All right. Hey. Let's go. Aaron Harris loses the ball. Kay Felder picks it up. Kicks it out. Sharon Dorsey Walker for three. And he fills it up in the right corner. Kick out Martez Walker for three, and a big time triple from the left corner. Jerron hand off. Jalen Hayes knuckles it up in and one. Jalen! You want to beat the number one team in the country? Is that what we talked about all year? Let's get it done, huh? Let's get it done right now. Cooper for three. Of course, Max Cooper. Up fake. Shot with the left hand. A crazy circus shot goes in. Left side, Aaron Harris, Forbes catching fire, 4-3, and he got it again. He builds it from the right corner. Kay Felder with a triple. Felder's free throw is perfect. We're tied. 4.9 left. Tum Tum Aaron on the run. And we're going to overtime at the Palace of Auburn Hills. Overtime against number one, Michigan State. You put yourself there. Now let's win this thing. And Davis lowers the shoulder, goes through Jalen Hayes, and drives and lays it up and in. Felder on the right wing, on the drive, and an offensive foul of the ball against Kay Felder. That's his fifth. Paul! Oh, Paul! Oh, same play down there! Same play! That was a flop to My wife. Forbes coming around to curl on the left side, catch and fire, 4-3, and he rattles it home. It was a heavyweight battle between the Golden Grizzlies and the number one team in the country, the Michigan State Spartans. Yeah, there's not much to say, guys. Max, did you give everything you had? Purse, did you give everything you had? Jalen? That's all I can ask. And I'm, I'm not going to dissect it. I'm not going to say if we done this or if we did that. We played great. We played with the number one team in the country. And you got to give them credit. If this doesn't tell you that you can't win a championship, get in the NCAA tournament, and make a run to the Final Four, it, it shouldn't be, hey, let's get to the NCAA tournament. It shouldn't be, hey, let's win a game. It should be, let's get to the Final Four. That's what it should be. Because this team can do it. This team can do it. Yeah. Hats off to getting on your feet again. Hats off to getting active, to a life with less pain, and to a revolutionary total knee replacement that keeps your healthy ACL intact. It's groundbreaking technology that promises faster recovery and more natural motion for your knee. 
So hats off to Dr. Jeffrey DeClaire, who pioneered the XP Preserving Knee right here in Michigan, and to the one place that helped make it all possible, the Advanced Joint Replacement Center at Crittenden. Get better here. Ever since we first opened our doors, we've been committed to developing relationships with the very best local farmers. Because we thought that would be a sensible way to offer our customers the best, freshest produce at the lowest possible prices. Now, 80 years later, this whole locally grown thing has gotten pretty fashionable. Whoever thought common sense would be so cool, hip, and trendy? Come see for yourself. OU Credit Union is a proud supporter of Oakland University Athletics. At home or on the road. OUCU is always there. From fans to family. Athletes to coaches. OUCU is proud to support every Golden Grizzly. So we just wanted to say... Thank you, OUCU. Thanks. 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 Thank you, OUCU. Visit OUCreditUnion.org to learn more. In order to be successful when you're competing at a high level against other organizations, you better have the proper culture. To me, the culture would be, you know, it's a great atmosphere, you know, we have good people here, a lot of successful people have came to the Oakland, you know, stayed around, and that's big on culture, you know, once you come to Oakland, your family. We'll run that one time when we need it. When we need it. So There's we this pop. culture here. Um, it's hard to explain to outsiders, but when you become a part of it, it becomes a part of you. And um, it's just, it's like this family atmosphere almost. The culture of Oakland and the relationships that, that you build here and the home atmosphere that, that's created here is, is why I'm here and why I stay here and why all these other people continue to stay because it's a, it's a welcoming environment. It's one that's built on success. The reason why I came here was because uh, the loyalty and the success that the program um, was about and had had. From the very moment that we started the recruiting process with Drew, I mean, he's from my hometown, we went to the same high school, he's a coach's son, so it was in his bloodline, it's part of his DNA. And then when he came to us as a player, you know, his leadership qualities um, uh, stood out, you know, amongst the normal kid that we would normally have in our program. So it was only natural for him to come back uh, once his playing career was over and give back to the game as a teacher. I called Izzo. I knew he had a graduate assistantship open and Drew had just graduated and Drew was trying to decide he had an offer to play in Europe. And I said, Drew, you're never going to make a lot of money doing that, but you have a chance to be a great basketball coach. You go there and work with the best coach in the country. And as soon as I have a job opening, I'm bringing you home because you know me, you're like a son to me, you know our culture, you know our expectations. And he went and sure enough, we had an opening at, at the end of his tenure. It was very fortunate, but we had one and there was no question who I was hiring. Sharon, 25. The, you know, he's a winner, he's a leader, first and foremost, and that's what I kind of like get from him. That's what I'm trying to learn more about that leadership role that he had when he was here. And now he's back. You know, we need that type of experience and someone to actually tell us that actually been there and seen everything that goes on. He brings an unbelievable amount of en energy, you know, on the floor, in meetings, you know. So that, that type of energy is infectious in and of itself and he understands the balance of, of getting on guys and, and being a pain in the butt sometimes, but then he also understands being a cheerleader as well. So, you know, as a coach and certainly as a player, uh, you have to be able to strike that balance. And then his situation is unique in and of itself uh, on our staff because he's actually sat in that locker room as a player. And so he's been on both sides of Coach Campy's you know, words, good and bad. K slowed down and was waiting for you to run, sprint to the corner. Mel! Mel! It was big news for me, personally, man. It was big news around the campus for him to get that job. I've known Drew, actually, since I was in the eighth grade. He came to one of my games in the eighth grade. 
I remember it was when we played East Lansing. I talked to him before I committed here um, and just, you know, talked to him about how Oakland was while he was playing here and stuff like that. So he played a, a big part and me and Drew are really close. From Saudi to myself to Jalen, I mean, we, we've got a, a team full of, you know, Sexton guys, a team full of Lansing guys. And I think that's something that we do take great pride in. Since I was even in high school, I've known Jalen. And, and um, you know, my dad was kind of one of his big men mentors and influences and, you know, a big reason why he's the player that he is today. I'm so happy to see Drew. and. You know, I go in and pick his brain and, and things he's learned from Michigan State, things that he thought about as a player. My favorite thing about being a coach is getting to, to change people's lives, taking everything that I learned from a good way and learning, you know, the negative things that I didn't like and just forming that into a, a role model and a person that, that kids can look up to on an everyday basis. I want to be a part of this family forever. Building this program is something that I take a, a, a lot of pride in, and I just want to help take it to a whole nother level. What happens when you don't hire the right property management firm? Well, you start doing all the work yourself, which burns you out, which makes you sleepy. So you fall asleep at your son's baseball game, making you completely unaware of the fact that you should duck right about now. So now your head hurts, your son is embarrassed, and you're on your way to the hospital to swap your baseball cap and hot dog for a drafty gown and green jello. Don't end up in a drafty gown eating green jello. Aspect Properties, residential, commercial, property management. Aspectproperties.com. Honey, what are you doing? I thought you were getting your hair cut at Great Clips. I am. Already checked in. How? Their sweet online check-in app. Why wait around there for a haircut when I can work on my bod here? Mm -hmm. I got a few more minutes. And pump it and squeeze it. Ooh, smile at me. Introducing the online check-in app from Great Clips. No more waiting around because now we'll be waiting for you. Great Clips, it's going to be great. Ever since we first opened our doors, we've been committed to developing relationships with the very best local farmers because we thought that would be a sensible way to offer our customers the best, freshest produce at the lowest possible prices. Now, 80 years later, this whole locally grown thing has gotten pretty fashionable. Whoever thought common sense would be so cool, hip, and trendy? Come see for yourself. Success breeds success, and I think that, you know, our, our, our student athletes, they hang out with each other, and when you're around successful people, it's just something that becomes part of that culture, and so I think, you know, the fact that other sports teams have success, it only helps everybody here on campus. Paul has been one of those guys. He ran here, um, and then he was brought on, and now he coaches, you know, like eight teams, two cross-country teams, indoor track, outdoor track. He did it all without a, without a track. I went to East Detroit High School. Everything around us is pavement and sidewalks and, and uh, flat city. And I uh, came out here for my visit. There was hills, there was dirt roads, there was deer, there was nature. Um, it, it was just, I felt like I was up north and I was only 30 miles from home. Coach Rice is able to give I mean, his time and his service and really help mold us into people that his coaches in the past helped mold him into. Winning two championships, the men's and women's championships in the same season has been a dream of mine and I know a dream of, of many of ours around here, around the program. There's a lot of teaching moments as a coach that you have. Take advantage of all those teaching moments, knowing that they're going to be better because of what they learned from failing and what they learned from being frustrated and having setbacks. And that's really where you develop that culture. Coach he loves this place so much because he went to school here to his alma mater and all that and, and like now we love the place. One of the big things that we were sold on was to build, a, build something here. Uh, they had never won multiple championships in a row. This will be something that can compete with like a Michigan or Michigan State down the road. I mean, I know it, it's going to take its time to get there. It's definitely something that happens all around the university. I mean, you see new buildings pop up here and there, new housing. I mean, just trying to bring more people to this great university. When I was on the cross country team in the early 90s, we all talked about and dreamt about a track program. When the opportunity came along to step into the cross-country role as the head coach, 
in the late 90s. Um, I used that, I looked at that as an opportunity to get back, give back to where I came from, but also that opportunity to possibly start that track program down the line. So I pushed and pushed and pushed for it. Uh, three years in a row of, of giving uh, proposals to President Russi and, and talking about how we can make this happen. And then finally in 2006, the dream came true. Now we build a track and he was a big part of that. During the first track meet out there, all the coaches were there. You know, we're all hugging him and congratulating him. He won the conference championship this year, both men and women. I mean, the guy is an unbelievable coach, and, but he's one of us. He's come up through the system. I think Oakland's a place that has its priorities straight. You know, a lot of schools, um, it's athlete-student. Where here, I think it's genuinely student-athlete, and that's what makes it so special because I want to be a part of something that does things the right way and does it for the right reasons. Elena is everything you would want in a student athlete at Oakland University. She is the person that you want as the face of the program. She's the one that you want going out representing this school. Well, I mean, you always knew she had a toughness about her. You always knew she had a desire to win. But, you know, I think injury in sport, it's, it's part of sports. It's, it, it happens in sports. So for her to have to overcome those injuries and either play anyway or get, get the treatment necessary to get it taken care of or take time off to get it taken care of and to still be able to compete at a high level even when you're in pain, I think that's something that she can carry with her for the rest of her life. I had a, a long lasting stress fracture in my right leg which ended up leading to surgery and, and it was tough but um, I know I'm stronger for it. They say um, after you break a bone when it grows back, it grows back stronger. And I really feel like that's what's happened with me, not just physically, but actually, you know, mentally. 23 and then transition. Okay. You know, I, I think the toughest thing of building a relationship with a point guard is, um, you know, you, you've got to make sure you're on the same page. And, and truth be told, if you ask any coach, there's times they're frustrated with their point guard, and you ask any point guard, there's times they're frustrated with their coach. That's just all, all part of it. And, and going through that process and, and working through that, that, that um, the adversity part again, I think is what helps forge that relationship. Uh, well, any relationship, it takes communication. And he's really good at that. Um, he always wants to know, you know, what's going on in our team's heads and, you know, why this, why that, um, how can I help? You know, a lot of times when he meets with um, the captains, he'll say, what can I do on my end? You've been climbing, 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 and we're climbing at the right time to be playing at the right time to be going in this direction. Really, you could tell that from the beginning, he cared about us. Didn't always care about, you know, our performance, and obviously he cares about that too, but he cared about us first. The one thing that we've, we've talked about here is we want to leave a legacy, and you know, the things that she's done here and in her involvement in community service, her involvement in on-campus activities, her involvement in her church, the different things that she's involved with, I mean, that's leaving a legacy. That's something that for players for generations to come are going to look back to say, I want to do the same things Elena did. If you're not doing your best and you're not seizing the moment, how can you leave a legacy? I have one job, and that's to teach you how to play the game down in distance. All right? Hey, Ralph Punzel. Oh, hey, Ronnie. Where are you headed? Great Clips. You're getting a haircut? I checked in already. He's in their online check-in. Online check? -in. It saves you time. You're getting a haircut. Why? Thinking about to apply to astronaut school. That's cool. OK, I'll uh, see you, Ronnie. Next time, save time. Download the online check-in app today. Great Clips. It's going to be great. OU Credit Union is a proud supporter of Oakland University Athletics. At home or on the road. OUCU is always there. From fans to family. Athletes to coaches. OUCU is proud to support every Golden Grizzly. So we just wanted to say thank you, OUCU. Thanks. 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 Thank you, OUCU. Visit OUCreditUnion.org to learn more. What happens when you don't hire the right property management firm? Well, you start doing all the work yourself, which burns you out, which makes you sleepy. So you fall asleep at your son's baseball game, making you completely unaware of the fact that you should duck right about now. So now your head hurts, your son is embarrassed, and you're on your way to the hospital to swap your baseball cap and hot dog for a 
drafty gown in green jello. Don't end up in a drafty gown eating green jello. Aspect Properties, residential, commercial, property management. Aspectproperties.com. Percy's ducking in and Sharon will be in the corner. If you need, if his man helps, kick it to him and he buries a three. 50% three-point shooter in that corner. He does. He will. That's why we played those games, for him to learn his role here. Now he knows it. Now he knows it. We all know it. Time to go, fellas. Time to go. All right. Martez Walker will drive it to the rim and score with his left hand. Okay, Felder on the move like the lease is up, going up the floor. Gives it off to Percy Kimson, who lays it in off the window. Step back, jump shot. <laughs> Kay Felder, stop it. Michigan State, Chicago State, Virginia. <clears throat> the first five minutes of the second half were just awful. We'll let them, if we do that, we'll let them right back in it. And the difference is this game means the world. Those games were just games. This game is the world, right? So we have got to play these first five minutes. It's our turn to come out and go on a run. Let's go on an 8-0 run. Let's go on a 10-1 run, all right? Daniels fires a three and fills it up from the right Attaboy, corner. Nikki D. Attaboy, Nikki D. Kay Felder on the left wing to the paint. Step back, oh. dish to Percy Gibson, who lays it up and in and one. Daniels, three, fill it up, Nick Daniels. Ron on the block, Jalen Hayes with a left hand toe. Oh, no. Rebound tipped out to Nick Daniels. Daniels with Felder, two on one. Oh. Everybody has a different role. And you play that role, and we as a coaching staff determine what that role is. Nick, you're not happy at halftime. I told you keep your head up. You, you played a big, important role in the second half. You, you had a big play in us winning this game, Nick. A couple of big shots, but your defense was great. We needed, this is a game that we needed defense. You are one of our best defenders. You know that's your role. And just, there's going to be a game you might play nine minutes. But it's all for the good of the team. Drew was a role player on a championship level team. He won two rings here. But he was a role player, okay? So players can always relate to role players because I got 13 kids out there, and there's only one or two of the stars. The rest of them are role players. And you're only as good as your role players are. I've learned that through the years. You can have great stars, but if you don't have the, the players that can you know, mesh in with them, you're not going to win championships. I think Nick is our, one of our most passionate players. I think Nick cares about Oakland so much. I think he takes a lot of pride in being here. And um, each and every day, Nick, Nick plays his hardest for Oakland. And, and you don't ever have to, have to question with Nick if, if it matters to him, if winning is the most important thing to him. He comes out his freshman year and he breaks his left foot. Gets through that, we redshirt him. Well, first day of practice his sophomore year, he breaks the other foot. We can't redshirt him now, so now he's got to get through it and get himself back. And he did a great job of that. You know, I, I constantly questioned his toughness, and he showed me how tough he was. He had a great freshman year, you know, made the all-freshman team. And then he comes back this year, and, you know, all of a sudden Sharon's there and Martez is there, and now he's looking around, and it's like, oh, my God, what do I got to do? When you're in a program like ours, and especially with this team, you have so many weapons. And so an uh, injury could set you back quite a bit. But he's a confident kid in himself. That's one ingredient of, of a great player. He can play and he's talented, you know. And again, just having the coaches in his ear, talking to him, like stay patient, you do your job, control the controllables. And as a result, you know, he started to have some, some recent success. Yeah, I definitely think that made him stronger, you know, with the two foot injuries. He can focus on academics more. Also, you know, while he was out, he was in the gym a lot, you know, just shooting free throws. But then when he came back, that patience he had to just come out on fire like he did was perfect. And we needed it. Attaboy, 
boy Nikki D. Atta boy Nikki D. It's like representing Oakland, representing who we are, going around, walking around campus, people looking at us as basketball players, but we look at ourselves as student athletes. So representing that is just like we have to do the same things that student does. We have to do schoolwork, study, all that. But on top of that, we have to do basketball too. He's somebody that down the road, he's going to be our leading scorer. He's going to be a guy that we go to in the clutch. He's a, he's a really good kid who has really turned it on in the classroom academically. And uh, he's really headed down the right path. I love the kid. I mean, I really love the kid. First and foremost, you got to create a family culture. Uh, because when we ask parents and prospects into our family, um, you got to understand that they're turning over their babies, their kids, into our care. And they have to feel um, sure that we're going to do the right things by them academically, socially, and then ultimately athletically. So, you know, that's the kind of culture that I'm sure uh, Coach Campy has tried to um, create throughout his 32 years here. Catch Oakland basketball at the Arena. For tickets to all Oakland basketball games, call 248-370-4000 or visit goldengrizzlies.com. Hats off to getting on your feet again. Hats off to getting active, to a life with less pain, and to a revolutionary total knee replacement that keeps your healthy ACL intact. It's groundbreaking technology that promises faster recovery and more natural motion for your knee. So hats off to Dr. Jeffrey DeClaire, who pioneered the XP Preserving Knee right here in Michigan, and to the one place that helped make it all possible, the Advanced Joint Replacement Center at Crittenden. Get better here.